Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Have you finished up your zone missions for the week in your master bedroom and master bathroom? Have you finished up those home blessings? Let's assess this morning. Where are we at? What do we need to do? I want you to have a fun, relaxing evening tonight. Have date night if you can work that out. Tomorrow's family fun day. So what I want you to do this morning is take a look at that list that we had earlier in the week. Decide if you covered at least the important things that you wanted to do to declutter and you're ready for the weekend. Good morning, Carol and Annie. Great to see both of you. So I really like today's zone mission. Hope you guys like it too. I want you to lay out your favorite pair of pajamas. I want you to put out those bath salts and later this evening, light your candle, run you a tub of water, have a nice soak in the tub and put on your favorite pajamas. Have some relaxing time. Reward yourself for all the things that you've done this week. There are so many things that we work hard at and we get to Friday and we think, oh, it's time to add more things to that list. What else can I accomplish? And really what you need to do is just have a good time tonight. Go out on date night if you can. Have a soak in the tub and go ahead and relax. Reward yourself. Crystal says she's moving the bed and evicting the dust bunnies today. That's a fantastic one. And I do that one a lot myself on Fridays when we're in the main uh, master bedroom is I will get up underneath my bed and get those dust bunnies out of there. Helps my allergies to feel better, helps me, and we get rid of that dust. So I don't store things under my bed to make this quick and easy. So if you've not done that one in a while, that is a great mission for Friday to end up your bedroom week. I've had people joke with me this week about decluttering in their bedroom saying they don't need to dust because the flat surfaces are so covered with stuff that dust doesn't have a place to go except on that stuff. So I told them they needed to start on those flat surfaces and get rid of that stuff that's hanging out there covering up their flat surfaces and then dust anyway. Um, I had somebody talk to me about wanting to do fall cleaning. They want to have a big day of tearing stuff out and cleaning. And I talked to them about why people used to do that. There were reasons way back in history, back in Bible times when they did spring cleaning, getting ready for Passover, back in pioneer days when they were cleaning up their cabin after a winter of burning coal and, and doing wood burning in their house. They were getting rid of all the dust that was on everything. We don't live like that now. We don't have to have those big fall cleaning days or spring cleaning days. Do it a little at a time. Break it down. It does not have to take a long time. Charlotte says that she's had a lot going on this week and she hasn't been able to do a lot of cleaning. She'll jump back in next week. And she's right. It will all work out. I have weeks when it's very busy and my zone missions get about five minutes. I move quick and move on because I've got a lot of other balls in the air and I can't spend 15 minutes. And that's okay. Spend that couple of minutes there. Talk to people about their entryways this week and how they struggle with their family leaving stuff in that entryway. That may be a daily hotspot thing for a couple minutes when you remind your family to get their stuff and put it away. You put your stuff away and do a little bit of maintenance there in that entryway. That's a great one to do right after dinner when you start your before bed routine is to take care of that area so you're ready to put your stuff there for the launch pad area while you're doing that evening routine. So find things that work together for you. Um, one of my ladies I talk to regularly struggles with swish and swipe. And I told her I've done swish and swipe so long for so many years that it just happens. I don't think about it. I don't dwell on it. I just do it and it's done. And a lot of times I catch myself at the end of it thinking to myself, okay, I've got it done today. It just happens. And that's what I want for you guys, these routines of Swish and swipe, decluttering, taking care of your home so you have more time to have fun and take care of yourself. So Annie's have the same kind of week that Charlotte's had. And, and it happens, guys. We have busy weeks. We have busy seasons in our life. And if you've gotten back to your fall schedule, kids are doing their activities, you may have picked up some activities, things have to shift around so your routines still get done. So hang in there. Next week you can start again. 
There is no shame in not getting anything done this week. If you were unable to for whatever reason, don't beat yourself up. Just say, okay, next week is going to be better and deal with one hot spot today. If you've not got dressed to the shoes yet this morning, if you're sitting there in your PJs and your little slippers, I want you to get dressed first thing. My next goal this morning is to get that menu plan done for next week so I can make my grocery list. That's what I've got on my little schedule this morning. The boys are helping me with the floors and the trash because those are the home blessings we've got left to do. We need to sweep, we need to mop, and then the trash needs to be taken out and ready to go off to the convenience center. Have a fantastic weekend. Let me know down here in the comments how your day went later on. Let me know what you accomplished. And if you have time to soak in the tub tonight, I want you to get that done. You are worth the time it takes to have a little quiet time and that soak in the tub. That is one of my favorite things to do for relaxation. And even as busy as I am, I take time and do that once a week. So I will see you guys on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. And I hope everybody has a sunny, wonderful Saturday for Family Fun Day.